What's going on YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another video and guys, I'm so excited to make this video because today we're going to be comparing Roy Jones and Fight Night Champion versus Roy Jones and ESBC. And before we get into the fine details, I just want to send a quick shout out to SGO who posted some really, really important information when it comes to the development of ESBC. In particular, the details about Roy Jones in esports boxing club so i'll leave a link to their amazing youtube channel and they are doing awesome things respect to them now as you see on the screen holy cow steel city interactive has done a fantastic job at morphing these guys and as you see here they are going to create old man roy and primetime roy jones jr and that'll be so cool just to have that option to use both so it is going to be just so exciting to have all these different features that we're not used to in combat sports games, like using Old Man Roy versus Primetime Roy. But let's get into the details, comparing the two Joneses. And this is Fight Night Champion that you're seeing, a game from 2011. And as you see here, it's actually not that bad, the model of Roy Jones, but as you can see in his footwork, he's kind of heavy footed, stuck in the mud, doesn't really have that kind of stance that Roy Jones has where he kind of, you know, puts a little bit more weight on that front foot. As you see right here, he's kind of just, like I said, slow on the feet, stuck in the mud, and everybody in the game kind of moved the same. Um, but as far as the punches are concerned, they did have that kind of signature straight Roy Jones as he gets clogged by Tyson. That's so crazy. Um, but as far as the footwork is concerned, it wasn't customized to Roy Jones' style. And you see here, right here, Floyd versus Jones. Look at this. The pound for pound champs going at it. Um, as he's moving right here, he's just very, very stiff when it comes to the footwork. When it comes to ESBC though, they are known for their footwork. Oh my gosh, you're gonna see right here as we pan over to Esports Boxing Club's version of Roy Jones, and this is a breath of fresh air. As you see his signature taunt right there, but you see how his hands are placed, man. And you see how his, his feet, that's exactly how Roy Jones would kind of have his feet placed when he's moving around the ring. And also, look at his head movement. Roy Jones always had that chin tucked, that head kind of, you know, leaning towards the left, analyzing his opponent, really reading his opponent's moves, kind of downloading the DNA of his opponent's attacks. And um, it's really cool seeing it in the game. And this is just, something that you have to really get excited about because if they're going to be able to customize pretty much every single boxer on their roster, you are really going to get a unique experience with all the different boxers in the game. And in particular, Roy Jones right here, you are really seeing a true to life Roy Jones in the video game. And as we saw in Fight Night Champion, you know, he looked like Roy Jones, but he didn't move like Roy Jones. And in this, you are seeing Roy Jones Jr., the video game model, look exactly like his real life counterpart in terms of the movement. But to be a little negative, we still didn't see the punching animations. And that's the one thing that I'm still a little bit worried about in Esports Boxing Club, and that's the punching animations. Did they tweak it? Are they going to improve it? I'm pretty sure they are going to improve it, but are they going to just make it so it really feels like these punches have zip on them, like I said before. Do the damage, or you could feel the damage when you connect. I'm hoping that the animations when it comes to the punching is refined, because we saw it before that the hooks didn't really look too good, man. Um, the elbow just didn't look natural when you're throwing your hooks, man. So I'm hoping that sooner than later we are going to see some gameplay animations, because we all know the bread and butter for ESBC is the footwork. It's been looking good since the beginning, since they've been showing us the gameplay information or the gameplay clips, but it's the punching, man, that we need to see. We need to see very, very good, long gameplay footage to see how much the game has improved. But sticking to the subject here, the Roy Jones at ESBC is looking fantastic compared to the Fight Night Champion. Holy cow, Fight Night Champion clip. So all in all, it's just really cool to see next generation combat sports coming around the corner. Let's hope we can see some gameplay coming soon. But I would love to hear your thoughts on the comparisons between Fight Night Champion Roy 
with ESPC's Roy. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. I'm actually on a business trip right now, so I'm gonna get ready for dinner and run down. Holy cow, I gotta meet up with some really important people. Anyways, boys, this is Ricky J, man. All the best, I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out of here.